thank you guys. You see, you should tell me, you know. I'm thinking that you're seeing what I'm writing and you're just looking at what my face. <laughs> anyway, um, just let me know, yeah. Just if there's a, if there's a, you think, yeah, like that, uh, maybe you, this is wrong. There's no point to you to see me. There's, the, uh, you know, <laughs> it was because when I started the recording, he started recording the other screen. But there's no point to actually see me. I just put it there so you, you know that somebody actually is looking at you, that you are paying attention <laughs> but you have to look at the screen what we're talking about yeah so i want you to imagine that you have these hundred envelopes that you're going to be sending because each envelope carries one piece of paper and there's hundred pieces of paper that you need to send now tcp will actually send individual like this and udp will send them that's your hundred envelopes but tcp We'll mark these, we'll say envelope number one, envelope number two, envelope number three, envelope number four, and so on, up to 100. The reason why he marks them is because the destination has to make sure they got all the envelopes and it will be able to reorder them correctly, envelope number one up to envelope number 100, right? While UDP, on the other hand, it will break these into small envelopes, but it doesn't mark them. And uh, the destination doesn't really know if it gets all the envelopes. Well, there's 100 or, or maybe there was 50 or whatever. It just thinks, okay, well, I didn't, this is what I got. I have to live. So it's like this. Um, we have here on the application presentation session is just data, right? And that's your just data here. Data. When it gets to layer four, transfer layer, the transfer layer will add a header to that data. So the transfer layer, layer four, will first will break this data. And we are only talking about this one envelope, yeah? So that's the one, that's that. The second one will be another one and so on. And in that, the transfer layer will add a header, right? And this is a layer four, layer four header. And in that header could be like, for example, the marking on the envelope and so on, but is mostly is a port number. The information is a port numbers. So for example, different protocols will have a different ports. For example, HTTP for app port 80, HTTPS for 443 and so on. We'll get, when we learn about transport, we get to know a bit more. So again, this is just a review. It's not, it's not like you learn it here now, you better grasp everything or that's it. You know, you're not going to hear it again. It's more review. And pretty much the whole semester one, we're going to go through these layers one by one. <laughs> so you're going to learn them a lot more. So let's say that we take this this segment. They are called here, right? That's, your, that's the segment there. I'll take that piece. Is that one there. That's your data. So obviously, the next segment will have another data, another header, and so on. In here, it's just called data, right? data maybe i should use another color just data right and um, i want to choose something else so here this is data and here at this point it's called a segment so segment so when we're talking about because we're talking about the individual segment yeah individual segment and then the data moves down moves down further down and we get to layer three. And layer three, anybody knows? Network. Anybody else? Network. So N stands for network, yes. So network. Network internet, yes. Let's talk. We talk about the other ones later. So network. Now network layer, network layer, layer three will add his own header. So it will add another another header here. So we'll add a header. So that will be layer three header and in there give me one second guys because somebody has come in in the in the webex okay good now send a message to join us here at layer three for example layer three we have, it will put protocols. Protocols, they operate at this layer is IP, IP, IPv4, IPv6, ICMP, for example, 
these are some protocols and some routing protocols as well a layer three now layer three will add a logical address in ip source ip address and destination ip address where is coming from and where is it going and then when we move to the next layer which is layer two hello rana <laughs> so hell um okay so does anyone know what is a layer two what is the name d something with d okay Mohammed says data link anybody else data link uh, daniel visa data link yes data link data link this is a data link layer now at this layer is very interesting because up to this layer all the way up to here so all this stuff when we communicate it all the way up to here this is just software 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 communication the whole thing is software right and then at the data link layer it changes from software it becomes hardware something that you can touch so software is all the way up to here and at the data link layer it just swaps from software to the hardware so for that reason the data link layer has two layers one layer is llc llc the talks for the software that's called the logical we will learn it in the next session logical link control talks about the software and then another another is called the media access control that talks to the hardware so up to the layer two, everything is the software, and then at layer two, changes the hardware. So it's pretty much like a driver, if anybody knows the drivers, they, they talk with the operating software, operating system in software, and then they change the, the, the commands from the software into actually the hardware. Talk to the printer or to whatever. <laughs> um, the data link layer is very important layer and uh, the data link layer will add its own header it will be a layer two header layer two header and here we'll put like a mac addresses source mac address and destination mac address and layer two will add a trailer right so this is a trailer which is known as a frame check sequence frame check sequence this serves for to make sure that the frame has not been corrupted in the transit so from the source to destination, the frame is not there. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, hopefully uh, there's a lot of stuff happening here, yeah? Right, um, let me just finish and then I'll clear some of this stuff here. Um, at this point, when we get to the network, it was called data here, it's called segment here. Here is called packet, so packet. Packet and then frame. Here is called, at the data link layer, it's called the frame, right? And then, when we have, uh, for example, when we go to the last layer, which you're going to be learning in this session, we're going to be learning. This is called the layer one, and it's, what do you think? Physical, physical. So this is hardware. This is a physical, physical layer. So physical and half of data link layer is a hardware. The other half of data link layer and the top, they're all software, right? And um, the physical layer they doesn't doesn't add any header or anything like that it's just zeros and ones here and it goes from the source to destination now i'm going to clear some of the stuff here so i'll try to clear it as um carefully as i can so i don't remove some of the stuff here so get rid of this some of this stuff here um software here get rid of it we're leaving it more a bit more clear yeah okay um one second guys another student has just joined on the other side and that's why i'm keeping this uh, webex open so anybody that missed the class they can see it um so hell rana can you please log off from from uh WebEx if you can. Right. Now the data has actually moved from the in the encapsulation and it becomes when we get to the layer one, it's all zeros and ones, right? And that's the that's the data, right? And uh what I'm gonna put here lines. 
when we get to the TCP IP model, now they, these two models are exactly the same. Yeah, just one of them has four layers and the other one has eight layers. But the job is the same. It's explained what happens at what layer, right? Um, okay, so this goes from the source to destination. When it gets to destination, first layer that it's going to hit, right? Do you remember the name of this layer? What what was the layer that it has both layers, layer two and layer one? It's called in TCP IP model. It's called what? Network access, Daniel says. Anybody else? Now here comes another another thing that you know other companies they call it differently. Yeah. So you might see a different company called a different name and so on, different books and you know, we, again, we go with what Cisco says, and Cisco says is a network access, network, network access layer, network access. When it gets to the network access layer on the TCP IP model, the first thing the network access is going to do, right, all these zeros and ones, the first thing is going to do is going to check that this frame check sequence is correct, making sure that there is not corruption. So it's like, now it's opening the boxes. It's opening new bubble wraps, yeah, to find out what kind of gift it's going inside. So it's check this. This is not being corrupted, yeah. So okay, it removes that. Then it checks the layer two header, making sure that it's for itself, right? And then once it's it's for itself, it removes this header, right? Once it removed the header, then it move, then it gives it to the next layer. So what is the name of this layer? Does anybody know? This layer. On the TCP IP model. Internet? Anybody else? <laughs> Come on guys, you need to be a, you need to be a, you need to be part of part of this, you know, because if I lose you, if you get like distracted or something like that, then you're just gonna miss all this stuff. Yes. So internet. And uh, internet layer removes a layer three header. So it removes this information. And then it goes up to the next layer. And this is the only layer that we have the name and the functions are the same on the both layers. And that's its transport, yeah? So you need to know these both models. You need to remember the OSI model and you need to remember the TCP IP model. Um, when we are learning now, we're pretty much gonna go through all these layers on the OSI model. And to be honest, in Cisco as well, in Cisco, they, they go in depth more on the OSI layers, yeah? So you'd be learning these layers one by one. But then when it comes to the exam time, they mix and match. Sometimes they talk about TCP, sometimes they talk about OSI. So you need to remember both. And as the data moves to the next layer up here, and then to the user, all this all this time, it was called D, D encapsulation. Encapsulation. So encapsulation, is when you are, have your gift that you want to send to your friend and you bubble wrap it and you put it in the box and you put it in another box, that's called encapsulation. When your friend on the other side, it removes these boxes and all your good work, it throws it away, that's de-encapsulation. And in the end, we have something called good, good put. And this is a good put. The good put, it's actually actually the, the the content that you want to send from the source to the destination. Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully um, that wasn't that crazy. That uh, that was a the screen was all crazy. Lots of stuff in the screen, but hopefully it did make a little bit of sense um, what we were talking. And um, let's have a look here. What else did we cover last session? Um, so I just want to see like a little bit of review what we covered in the last session. Um, yeah, we looked at TCP, IP, we looked at the IP layers, right. Now, if we, if, if I saw, show you, right. What we're gonna do, for example, is um, today, today we're going to physical layer, right? That's your layer seven. Oh, sorry, layer one, yeah, layer one of the OSI model, layer one, physical layer. Then we move to data link layer. That's layer two, right? And uh, I just want to show you the, the content of, of um, this uh, semester. 
then uh, we had layer two, network layer, layer three, right? Then we have transport layer, layer four, right? So we kind of going through all the layers in your in, in semester one, and then layer five, six, and seven will be here. So five, six, and seven we go in application layer. So as you can see in the whole semester one, we're pretty much going to be talking about these layers. And by the end of this course, if you don't know the layers, then <laughs> you know they can't teach you anymore those layers. Um, but again. Um, what we have here, for example, you see the network layer, when we talk about the network layer, before we go to the transport layer, before we go there, look, there is like one, two, three, four, five topics that we're going to be having to cover in detail, and then we move to the next layer. So that's quite a lot of things happening in the network layer. And uh, then transport layer, and then, then application layer. OK, so today we're going to start with physical layer, which is your first layer. Uh, on the OSI model, and if you have a physical, for for example, let's let's think about the physical connection. Yeah, to be able to communicate on the internet or on the network, right? You have to have a physical connection. Without physical connection, there is no connection. There is no communication. So you need physical connection, right? So I have this PC here, and I have this say this is my switch for example and in this switch is connected physical connection to this pc now for this pc to communicate to this pc there's got to be a physical connection between this pc and the switch it could be either cabled or it could be either wireless but there's got to be a connection physical connection and then we can we can communicate three different ways yeah we can have um copper copper which is your Ethernet cables, you know, uh, token ring and all that, that's going to be copper cable connection. Or we could have another one. Does anybody know what other table cable we can have? A good one that's very popular. There we go. <laughs> Mohammed can tell us. Um, yeah, Daniel as well. Uh, fiber. Fiber. Fiber, copper. And then another one. What other? What's the third one? What do you think? What type of connection? Not cable. Wireless. That's it. Wireless. These are the only three types of connection that we can have in the in the world. There is no any other. Yeah. So you can't go and say, well, there's another one. I, I've heard they, they're using this. That's it. No, no, no. They, you can have only copper, fiber, or wireless. Copper, very popular. Very, 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 very popular. Pretty much the whole net, every network is going to be using copper. Fiber is not popular. <laughs> well, it is popular, but the thing is, it's not common. What I'm talking about, the common. Copper is popular and common. The reason why copper is popular and common is because it's cheap. It's very, very cheap. So all the, for example, if you're talking for intermediary devices or whatever, they, you know, it's very, very easy to connect them. Very cheap. Right, and I can train you know, or anyone can learn how to create copper cables and how to manipulate the copper cables in less than a, less than an hour. Right, you can become pretty good at it, and uh, they are very flexible, very very flexible, which is good. Copper cables, for example, you can take copper cable and you can just go turn it this way. That's no problem, or pretty much like this. No problem. They, that means they are very flexible. You can do it. And we'll see what different type of copper cable that we have. But they are very flexible. So that's what they're good at. The thing, the next thing is fiber. Fiber is very good as well, but it's very expensive, right? And and I can't train you in, within a day how to create fiber connections. There's no way because, you know, the, the fiber, what fiber is, you send the light, right? You send the light ray from source to destination is one one piece of light and um, for example if you have for example cable from here to here and then you want to add this cable continue this cable and have a uh, connection from here to here you have to make sure that that light is 100 percent it can go through 100 percent if if you misalign it a little bit that's it it's gone <laughs> it doesn't work so it's very, very difficult to actually learn how to align these and so on. So it's not something that I can teach you within one hour. However, copper, 
less than one hour you can connect them that will be easy and um the fiber connection it is it is good it is very popular we send in light um, but it's expensive and uh, it's very hard to maintain as well and another thing about the fiber is that you can't bend it if you bend it like this you have you're risking it of breaking the glass because this is a glass so inside the fiber is a glass and inside the glass is the ray the light and if you break it if you bend it more than 90 degree you're risking it of breaking it so for example if we bend if we bend this fiber cable say that we bend it this way <laughs> you could fix you could break the glass and that's when you break the glass that's it forget about it <laughs> so the fiber you would have to go like this if you want to like have a kind of like a u-turn you would have to put it like this so you don't break the glass so it's not as flexible as a uh, copper cable but it has advantages it's fast and so on and then we have a wireless wireless is very very uh, flexible yeah you can put wireless anywhere we can have you can't have a cable you can put wireless but the wireless have a disadvantage as well you know interference security those are some of the disadvantages with wireless so in the copper we send in electricity zeros and one uh, in the fiber we are sending the light ray and the wireless we're using electromagnetic waves or radio waves yeah so we're using to send but one way or another we need to connect this pc to this switch either either way that you want to have and for that another thing that we need it's all all here we're talking about this physical 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 so another thing that we're going to need this pc obviously is going to need a network interface card nic now that nic could be copper could be fiber or could be wireless but it does need a network interface card and in that network interface card through that we're going to connect to the switch and there's a communication right but in this lesson, we're going to be learning about these three. We're going to be learning about copper, fiber, and wireless. Those are the tasks for this lesson. OK. So the physical layer, let's give one second. So physical layer, it's at the bottom of the stack. So it's a layer one, right? Of the T of the network access layer, of the OSI model layer, or it's part of the network access. So it's part of the like physical layer is connected together with data link layer on the TCP IP model, right? And in this lesson, you're gonna be learning everything there is to do with physical stuff. And when we need when we need to do troubleshooting, for example, when I need to do some some troubleshooting that I have never seen it before, because in this in this um, career path that you want to choose, you're going to be dealing with a lot of troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is going to be main part of the job, right? So, you know, fixing stuff, adding stuff up, troubleshooting, and so on. So when it's a brand new problem and it's very very hard to troubleshoot that you've never seen it before, you always start at the physical layer. Now, even today, if I phone, for example, Sky or BT or something, and I tell them, look, I have a problem with my uh, router, the, what's the first question they can ask me? Is it plugged in? Yeah, yeah, it's plugged in. They're going to make sure it's plugged in, yeah? Um, do you see a red uh, red sticker on the uh, on the switch on the wall? Be they they even thinking, have, is it switched on? Because it might be switched on. So what they're doing is they're going through physical layer, making sure the physical layer is correctly is there is working so later on right in your in your career uh, most likely uh, the job interview question will be um, you know they will I've seen it from my students before so you have the OSI layers so they will give you uh, layer seven six five four three two and one right first you need to explain what these layers do and then they say to you okay well what's your troubleshooting method which layer do you start and then we talk about troubleshooting method if it's a brand new and very hard topic that you've never seen it before it's always started the physical layer you can start a physical layer and then move up the layers to troubleshoot 
or if it's something like uh, for example application then you can you can start from the top down top down or bottom up or you can start somewhere in the middle which is divide and conquer dividing so troubleshooting method but again i just want to tell you that if it's a brand new it is very hard then it always start with physical error you, you won't go wrong so whether you connect to local printer at, in the in the home or another country before any network so before any network communication can occur a physical connection to the local network must be established so we must have a physical connection and like I said, the physical connection can be wired or it can be wireless. So either way you can have a connection, but there's gotta be connection. Wired, you're using the cable, while the wires, uh, wireless, we're using uh, radio waves. The type of physical connection depends on, on your network, on your setup. For example, um, wireless connection would be, for example, from your PC to your switch, right? So that's your switch, that's your PC, that's we have a wireless connection here. We don't have a cable. But usually intermediary devices from a switch to another switch or from a switch to another router, for example, say this is a switch, this is a router, these, these connections are wired. So wireless is mainly popular at the end devices when you have a iPhone or laptop or desktop or TV, all these are wireless. But when you think about the other side of it, it's all wired. It's all wired. It's either fiber optic or cable. It's not wireless. So it's not like uh, from your home, from your router at home, you're connecting wirelessly to uh, uh, your ISP. It's all wired. Yeah. So, for example, in many corporate employees have desktop, laptops, and all that. They're connected to share switch. Um, the data setup is a wired network data is, tr is transmitted through a physical cable. In many addition, a wired connection, may, uh, many businesses also offer you wireless connection. But they, again, like I said to you, <clears throat> wireless connection is very popular on for the end devices. And wireless connections, they connect to the access point, right? So we have, for example, this is your PC, connects to wireless. And first device is gonna connect to is called an access point access point. This access point, there's different type of APs. There's, for example, lightweight access point or fully fledged access point where you can control it. For example, at this access point, I can give an IP address, for example. I can go to there and connect it. Or you can have something called the lightweight access point, for example, in the hospitals or in the big businesses. They don't have every access point. They don't like configure every access point. They just have a APs, for example, around your around the network. So for example, in the corridors and so on, they have an access points. But they don't control them individually, yeah? They control them through something called a wireless access point controller. Right? So wireless uh, the wireless uh, access point uh, <laughs> uh, wireless access point controller. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see anyway. We're gonna see it in the future. When we're we talking about the uh, wireless anyway, it's a wire. It's a wireless control anyway. So this is your back of your home router, yeah. If you anyway, if you have a, a wireless with, uh, if you have a, an ISP with, uh, for example, the phone with a DSL, if you look at the back of the router, this router will have four ports like this. These are your four ports here. And on these ports, the router is actually, what it's doing is doing the switch. So it's being like a switch. So here we have switching. And at this port, which is the internet, in, in UK, for example, you have a, a smaller port and that is RJ, called RJ11. So if you look at the back of the router. Now these ports here, they are a bit bigger and they are known as RJ45, RJ45. Sorry, RJ45. RJ11, and this this wireless router probably is going to have antennas, and it's going to have two antennas, right? This, um, that's the the newer uh, protocols, the two antennas, better range and so on, and uh, also it's going to be doing a firewall, so it probably must most likely it's going to have a, some kind of firewall, right? These are very cheap routers, and you know plastic boxes, <laughs> the network engineers they don't trust them at all, but they're good. They're good. They will good, be good enough for average user. 
And uh, so this is called the integrated router, integrated router, because um, integrated router, because it has a wireless access point, it has a switch in, it has a, a RJ11, and it has a firewall. Mihai, sorry, <laughs> I missed it. I missed you quite when you were talking. So I don't know when, uh, what happened to you last week. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so here we have a connection that we see, the, the normal wired connection. And uh, we connected from here is RJ, RJ45 connection on this side, RJ45. And then we connect to the switch for portion of router, which is RJ45 as well. And then he, from here, we connect to the internet, right? This is your phone cable connects from the internet to the, um, from RJ11 to the internet, yeah? So we do need the network interface cards, yeah? We need the network interface cards. And sometimes the PCs might have more than one network interface cards. For example, you will have a, you will have a, a wired network interface card like this. This is your RJ, RJ45, RJ45 plug connecting to RJ40, RJ45 uh, uh, port. And this, this laptop, as you can see, has a wired connection. You can connect, but most likely it's going to have a wireless network interface card. Now, usually the wireless network interface cards are integrated here somewhere in the router in the device. So they just see you just see like a dot or something that you will see that it is there, but there is not nothing you can't really see it. Yeah, or somewhere depending on the on the model of the laptop, but they will be integrated somewhere. So the physical layer provides the means to transport the bits from the make the data link frame, right? So we, we transport uh, with a physical layer. We take the data link layer frames, data link layer frames, and we transport them with physical layer, right? And uh, <clears throat> so the both sides, they have to have the same encoding. For example, if I if I uh, if if we send, for example, if we send, uh, say, say on this side, I send the fiber, fiber, and I can't connect fiber on this side, but then connect the copper in this side, I can't do that because it has to have the same code encoding and uh, coding and and uh, encoding and decoding, yeah, which we're gonna see soon. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna take the frames from Ethernet layer. So sorry, from the data link there, Ethernet frames, and we're going to encapsulate them. So that is data, yeah. That is your here is just regular data. And once we get it, like that's you saw it, it was a it was like a web page, yeah. And we get the data. And first layer that it's going to add the header on it, right? That is your TCP because it's a web browser, so that's why it's a TCP. But the layer, the layer is transport layer. So transport layer, transport, it's adding this header. And now this is called segment at the moment, All right? When I press play, the next layer, they will add a header, All right? Let me stop that. Now, which layer is gonna add this header? Which layer is adding this header? Well, the network layer network there and at this point it's called what what is the name of this at this point do you remember what did we call it it was segment that was up to here was a segment now now it's called something else packet yes packet and then if i move if i go forward now you can see the next header will be added by the data link layer and as you can see there it adds a header and it adds a trailer that appeared as well, right? If I go bit back, that trailer is not there. Look, it's adding the header and the trailer. And do you remember what was the name of this? So this was a data link layer, data link layer. It's adding the header and the trailer. And it's called frame. That's right, frame, yeah, frame. When we add the header and the trailer. Now this trailer, 
it's a frame it's called it's known as a frame check sequence to make sure that the frame has not been corrupted so frame check sequence so what the what the source is going to do right is going to count how many bits of ones are from here to here so how many ones are we have say say we have 500 ones 500 of ones not the zeros ones and it will put 500 here as a frame check sequence frame check sequence now if the destinate when the day they, they go to the destination the destination is going to count itself as well it's going to see how many ones are there and if it matches to what it says in there then then the frame has not been corrupted right it's a very simple method of checking the corruption but it's not it's not reliable yeah and we'll see why and now this is this is now it's called a frame so the physical layer is taking the frame down from data link layer and look it's transporting that it's transferring that from hard uh, software into soft into hardware which the data link layer will do and the physical layer is just moving the data from source to destination now you think of you think of the physical layer um think of it think of it as a as a as a as a road or river or air <laughs> road river or air yeah physical layer is doesn't it's not telling you anything it's like okay if it's a road you need to put a car there otherwise if you put a boat it won't be that good or if you put an airplane it won't be that good because it's a road so that's a physical layer physical layer says okay look i have a i have a cable here and better put stuff that is okay for the cable because if you put stuff for wireless it's not going to work right it's the data link layer who's deciding what to put inside what to put there so data link layer says okay well if it's a road i'll put a car if it's a, a river i'll put maybe a boat that's how it is so the data link layer is controlling so that's why in the data link layer that we have two halves you remember we have a data link layer data link and there's two halves there's llc and there's mac is this mac mac layer who's deciding where to put the car and where to put the boat <laughs> where to put the car where to put the boat is a mac layer who's deciding if it's a copper it puts a copper stuff in it if it's a fiber it puts fiber so the physical layer has got no control to what how you put it in there it just says okay well this is and i can transport it from zeros i can send it to the to destination when it gets to the destination the destination is going to be reverse of this yeah so it's going to open okay let's have a look at the um, some of the question here true or false and this is for you guys yeah so if you you know if you even if you say it wrong or something like that it doesn't really matter it's not a problem we are learning here the physical layer is the only it's only concerned with wired network connection is the physical layer concerned with wired only so what the other ones the other one was was wireless does the physical layer is it yeah well physical layer is concerned with both wired and wireless so we have both so false true and false when frame is encoded by physical layer all bits are sent over the media at the same time right all the bits are sent to the media like this are they sending are they being sent at the same same time or are they being sent in one after another right because if they were sent at the same time these bits will be like this zero one zero one zero one and they will be sent like this all at the same time but in here in this picture that you see it's not being they are not being sent at the same time it's being sent sequently one after another right <laughs> so that is uh, false is false so the physical layer of the receiving device passes the bits up to which higher layer higher level layer so who it gives it to does it give it straight from the physical layer it goes to the application layer ignoring all other layers right or does it go from physical layer it goes ignoring the other layers goes to the presentation layer which is six layer six that's seven that's six presentation does it go to from layer from physical layer goes straight to the network layer which is layer three or does it go from here to layer two data link there yes 
So the next layer gives it to the data link there. The PDU, we said about PDU last week, yeah? PDU is at any layer. You can say layer seven, six, five, four, segments, packets, frames, we can call them PDU at any layer, right? So what PDU is received by the physical layer for encoding and transmission? So are we receiving frames, segments, or packets? So now pretty much he's asking you, do you remember there was data here? Then they were called segments at layer four, layer four. This is a layer seven, six, and five. Layer three, they were called packet, packet. And layer two, they called frames, frames. Now, physical layer is down here, physical. Uh, this is layer one. So he's saying the PDU received by the physical layer. So when you get something for a physical layer, is it frame, segment, or packet? Is it coming from here, straight down here? Is it coming from here, down here? Or is it coming from here down here? So we said to you that this goes like this. That's called encapsulation. So the data is going down, right? So they don't jump a layer. They just they have to go through every other layer. So yeah, it's frame. Frame. OK. Great job. Physical layer. Now, 